बंधन म्यूचुअल फंड प्रेजेंट्स एम एफ कॉर्नर Hello and welcome to the special mutual fund corner. This is the YouTube edition, and today we have with us Shalab Gupta Bibab, who is the founder at Bibab Capital. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. You know, on the show we try to understand the categories which are working and what is good for mutual fund investors when it comes to investments as well. And one of the categories that has uh, seen a lot of focus this year is debt side, debt funds. That is, we are talking about interest rate cuts. We are talking about uh, inflation coming down. In that case, how do you look at debt funds and what are the benefits uh, an investor could look at if they invest here? Uh, so I would just uh, firstly. Thank you so much for uh, inviting me for a session here, and thanks to the CNBC team. Uh, the fixed income landscape shows a positive trend due to stable uh, domestic macroeconomic factors. Uh, the appeal of uh, fixed income as an asset class has notably increased and attributed to higher yields. Uh, I think the accrual incomes uh, and accrual remains attractive owing to the increased corporate borrowing from the capital market. Additionally, foreign investors have shown significant interest in Indian bond market. Therefore, the fixed income market it ex is expected to maintain a very positive outlook due to a robust domestic growth, price stability, the incorporation of bond in global indices, and the government's decision and the fiscal uh, you know consolidation. Okay, all right, that makes sense, and we are getting a lot of uh, foreign. Focus as well, right? With inclusion in major uh, global indices when it comes to bond markets and fixed income, uh, you know there has uh, there's a lot that has happened on the fixed income side when it comes to debt funds as well. Can you give us a sense of what arbitrage can debt funds see right now vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the other categories and how is it working for them? I think an investor should understand firstly. Uh, a retail investor should understand firstly before investing into a debt fund the risk and the returns directly related to it. Uh, higher the returns, higher will be the risk involved. There are broadly two types of risk in a debt mutual fund, which is uh, one is the interest risk and one is the credit risk. So interest rate risk, uh, you know, price of fixed income securities are inversely related to interest rate change. If the interest uh, rate goes up, price decreases and vice versa. Differently, fixed income instruments have varying price sensitivity to interest rate changes. Price sensitivity to interest rate changes is also known as duration. You know, longer the duration of an instru instrument, higher is the sensitivity of the interest rate change. Uh, and coming secondly to the credit risk, which I just mentioned, this refers to the risk of default. That is the failure to pay interest or principal or both. Rating agencies access the credit risk of fixed income instrument based on the financial strength of the issuer and uh, assign credit ratings to instruments. If the credit rating of an instrument gets downgraded, the price of an instrument will fall. Likewise, if the credit rating gets upgraded, the price will rise. Interest rate risks are temporary. However, credit risk may be permanent. Investors should understand that risk and return are directly related. Your return expectations should match with the risk profile of your investment. Investors should be aware with the leakages between investment tenure and risk capacity, especially the interest rate. Uh, shorter the investment tenure, lower the interest rate capacity and vice versa. Similarly, an investor should understand the credit risk of their investment and, you know, uh, that's how he can make uh, an informed decision. Okay, that makes sense and very helpful as well because while we are talking about returns, risks are equally important to understand as well. Um, in that case, uh, Mr. Gupta, I wanted to understand who should invest or when should one invest in fixed income funds? How much should it be as a part of portfolio? And have you seen more retail participation coming in? Because usually we talk about corporates when it comes to fixed income markets. Uh, as they should not put, uh, as you say, that they should not put all your eggs in one basket. Similarly, you should not be over invested in one particular asset class. Diversification uh, is the key, and incorporating fixed income securities in your portfolio adds to diversification. Since bonds and debentures have a low correlations with equity, their price movements are not interlinked. When stock experience and the downfall due to their high volatile, volatile nature, Fixed income act as a balancing force and reduce overall risk. Also, unlike equity zone, fixed income securities provide relatively consistent and stable source of income in the form of interest payments. Investors can invest directly in bonds. However, another way to invest is through mutual funds, and it is not only provides it not only provides di diversifications but uh, active management as well. Okay, makes sense. 
Uh, you know, now I have to talk about the elephant in the room and that is something that everyone keeps talking about, what happened exactly one year back. And that was the change in debt taxation um, and how the long-term capital gains were taxed here as well. Give us a sense of what has the debt exposure been like or debt interest in debt funds been like. Um, are you seeing any changes here? Uh, you know, as per the new tax rules, personal returns and fixed income instruments will be added to your income and will be taxed as per your income slab. Equities, on the other hand, have capital gain taxation, which is 15% in the short term and 10% in the long term. However, I believe the purpose of choosing an asset in your portfolio should not just be high returns. One should also invest in assets which may not give as high returns as equities, but will provide stability to your portfolio with consistent returns. So I think, you know, the taxation rule, which, which apparently just happened, uh, there are certain kind of investors who, who are absolutely FD investors. And for them, debt is still a very lucrative option. And, you know, India being included in the bond index, uh, which is going to start very soon. So I think debt market is looking very lucrative in the coming months when Fed has already, you know, hinted three interest rate cuts in the coming year. Okay. So I think it's, it's the right time to get into debt with, a, with about 20 to 30 percent of your portfolio. Oh, 20 to 30 percent of your portfolio, Mr. Gupta. It was such a pleasure speaking with you, the clarity that you had about debt funds and that, of course, would give a lot of comfort to investors as well while looking at this uh, particular category because it's a little technical vis-a-vis -vis an equity fund, right? So it's important to get an expert opinion here as well. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and hope to be speaking to you very soon again. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Pleasure. Okay, all right. With that, we'll take your leave on this edition of Mutual Fund Corner, the YouTube edition. But stay tuned to CNBC TV 18 for more news and updates. Bandhan Mutual Fund presents MF Corner.